Hello Virgo. Welcome to Hail and Guys Tarot. This will be your October 2020 love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see now. What's going on here for Virgo? What's your energy, Virgo? What's your energy going on now for October? Move. Nine of Wands. Okay. I think you're standing your ground. You feel very confident. You're waiting for something. And um, you feel really good about this. You've been through the battle. And now you're just waiting. Now what's their energy? What's their energy? What's their person's energy? Oh, there we go. Now this came up. Oh, oh no, I thought it was reversed with this. Scene, the, the, okay, this is Page of Cups. Okay, so this could be um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, so let's see now. This feels like someone wants a new beginning. Could be young, younger than you. Um, they feel very emotional to me. For some reason this one's coming across that, um, yeah, I think this person can cry real easily for some reason this, but they, um, yeah, they go by their emotions. They they don't their head doesn't go into too many of their decisions. It's more like their heart, their feelings. That's what I'm getting on the energy around this person. Okay, so let's see. What are your thoughts about them? What are your thoughts about them? Yeah, they're up in their head about you, um, as far as but they're emotionally, it's like they're not thinking logically. Okay, what are your thoughts about them? So we have Ten of Wands. There's a burden you're walking away from. Ending. So here we have the Nine of Wands here. So this is coming to end. Whatever this burden was, come to end. And you're going to be victorious. So what your thoughts about them is that I think you want to end this stalemate. If you're not talking or whatever's going on, that's not um, good. You want to have um, recognition and uh, victory with them and you're going to get it or you're going to be in spotlight for something something else could be ending for some of you it could be a job that you're moving away from and you're going to um, get you're not getting the recognition in this job and you did everything you could and you you know you had a lot of competition and you were always came out ahead but now you're really going to get recognized for it because you never did I think other people now this is for some that other people were um, always trying to hide um, your light, but they can't hide it anymore. The truth's coming out. Okay, now what about their thoughts about you? What about their thoughts about you? Okay, so we have Ace of Cups. Death of Rebirth and a High Priestess. Yes, they're going within here. They're creating a new beginning with you. That's their thoughts to, to offer their cup of... They want a new beginning, a cup of love. They're, um, they went through a transition, a death and rebirth. And so something ended and something's beginning. When every time something... When one door closes, another door opens. So something going on with them where spiritually they are just connecting that's what I was feeling here they're not in their head but they're it felt like um it, it's really weird it felt their energy feels you're yeah, very light so they must be uh, meditating going deep within spiritually yes okay now your feelings about your person what is your feelings about your person Okay, you're sad right now that you guys aren't together or, or whatever's going on between you. You feel left out, left out in the cold right now. That's your feelings. Okay, what about their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? There we go. What are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? 
Okay, five a cup, but it's in reverse. So they were feeling melancholy, thinking about you, but they're they're starting to they're they're healing that. I think by going within and doing this transformation, and um, thinking of offering their cup of love to you, and having this um, I think they have a really strong spiritual connection. They're getting a lot of guidance, spiritual guidance that they're. That's why this is better in reverse. Because they're getting out of that feeling. Okay, what is the action that you are going to take towards your person? What is the action that you are going to take towards your person? Action that you are going to take towards your person. Ooh, the chariot. So you want to come to them. And you want to offer... You want to make an offer to them. It's um, I think you want to test the water, so it's not going to be something large. You may say, "Hey, do you want to go out to eat? Want to grab a cup of coffee? Something like that, just to see." Yeah, because their energy feels very good here. Okay, let's see. Maybe you're intimidated by that. You know, here you are, right in the spotlight. You're doing well yourself. But maybe the spiritual connection, maybe you don't understand it. I don't know. Um, what's their action towards you? Their action towards you. Whoa. So you got the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so they're not holding on so tight as they did before. Yeah, so here's two of these cards are better actually being in the reverse and they want communication they want things to move they they this is also fast these are both very fast moving cards so this should happen quickly okay and on the bottom we have yeah ten of pentacles so you're going to celebrate you're you guys look like you got, there's going to be a reunion here looks very good for that okay let's see let's get more on this nine of wands for you or your energy why did we get the nine of wands for Virgo? Let's come out of Virgo. We got the Nine of Wands. Why do we get the Nine of Wands for Virgo? I just want to make sure I didn't have my deck upside down. That's a lot of cards. Well, we see the Ten of Wands wanted to pop out. But let's see if it comes again. That's too many cards. It seems like there's eight, seven, or eight there. Okay, why do we get the Nine of Wands for Virgo? What's their energy? Okay, here we go. All right, so two of pentacles, making a decision, having choices, um, trying to balance things out. Um, you might have a couple of different things you're trying to juggle right now, and you need patience. So it's, again, both these cards look like it's trying to balance. So here we have. I think your ships are coming in. I think um, you're getting divine guidance and on to just stay the course. Just be patient. This your energy. There's things coming in for you. There's a lot of retrogrades going on that are you know finally turning direct. So you had to wait on some things. Things were slower than normal. Okay, well, how about their energy? That's the thing. I want to say planets. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing a lot of readings. Um, let's see, what is. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Three of Cups, okay. Yeah, wanting to celebrate, wanting to get together with friends, party. Um, I feel like, um, yeah, feeling. Need need some some celebration, some happiness. Um, I felt that their energy. I don't see this as a third party in this card. Sometimes it is, but I felt more like a celebration, rejoicing, um, and looking forward to that. Whatever's coming up, if, if there's some kind of something, some get together. Okay. Um. What about more on your thoughts about them, please? More on your thoughts about them. Okay, we have Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to work on this situation. 
or also could be at work you have things that you're working on that you um you're trying to build a business maybe start a new business or do something like that um, you focus on that or you focus on that or you know some people will be focused on, on the person some people will be focused on a business a job a career okay what about more on their thoughts about you So they hold you in high regard. They think you have everything going for you. Yeah, they admire you. That's their thoughts on you. Okay, what are your feelings about them? What are your feelings about them? More your feelings about them. Why is the five I have to ask, why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here for your feelings on them? More clarification, please, on the five of pentacles. Okay, so we have Princess of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So something that was said has really been um, you've been thinking a lot about. And you want to work on this. You want to make an effort. You um, yeah, you definitely want to um, speak to them, speak your truth, and um, you don't want to change this. So get out of this Five of Pentacles to get to the Eight of Pentacles. So we need to have a discussion. Okay, why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse here for your person? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune and Princess of Pentacles. Okay. That's why it's in reverse because their luck is changing. They can feel it. Things are starting to happen for them. I think maybe some money came in or something's happened where they're feeling better financially. And that's helping them feel better about this situation. Because maybe things were hitting them different ways in there. They're able to say they feel like they're able to manifest here. And they're not holding on so tight so... Their money maybe came in where they don't feel like they have to hold on so tight. It's either to you or the situation or to their finances. Okay, let's get more on the action that you're taking here. Get a little more on this action that you're taking, please. Get more on the action that you're taking. Get that one. Ooh, nine of cups. Yes. You're going to move forward quickly because you know this is your happy ever after. So your nine of cups, your wishes true okay let's see do that you're gonna party <laughs> okay let's see what about more in their action we have eight of swords in the tower okay so there's there's an ending coming here is a um a change and that's when they come quickly they're able to move because something happens very quickly it feels like it puts an end to this eight of swords and it's some kind um change that just comes in out of the blue Okay, and then bottom deck. Oh, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nine cups, lovers, ace of hearts. Very nice. Okay. Let's get some more on this. What else do we have for Virgo, please? What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo, please? Okay, we have songs, information. Okay, you could be hearing songs that remind you of them, or there also could be information coming through these songs, or you could just get information. What is this thing? So this is, I guess it's a heart. Wow, connected. All right, so somehow that you're connected through songs. Okay, now here we have wasp and jealousy. Okay, someone's jealous. 
if someone has someone else in their life or something's going on with this jealousy or that's for some but then some for this recognition that's going on here I feel that there's jealousy within the workplace or um, with your peers or, or, or family or friends jealous of what's going on here um, then we have two 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 partnerships and balance pay attention to the new people entering your life take time to balance your time and energy and existing ones yeah, there's going to be people coming in that are very helpful to you. And don't, when these new people come in, don't forget your old friends and, you know, they, they're still there. So, um, don't get too excited about the new people. That was what I'm getting. Okay, um, what else can you tell me for Virgo, please? What else can you tell me? Clouds, shapes, guardian angels. Yes, we're getting divinely guard, guided. The songs, the information, what's going on with these new people being brought in to help you. And um, I think so. And so you also feel, I feel like you're being protected from these people that are jealous. Well, what's going on? Oh, okay. We have return. Okay, so someone's returning. And that came flying out. And down here, I think someone regrets what happened in the past. But okay, so someone's returning. Maybe whenever this drastic change happens. Okay, what else do we have? And for some, not for everyone, I feel this jealousy is. Now, it's not going to be for everyone, but when when this returns, whoever. It could go either way. One you, your partner or your ex, recent ex, is going to be very upset and jealous that they lost, either you lost, they lost you to this person or this person, they lost this person to you. Okay. What else do we have here? What else can you tell me? For Virgo. What else do we have for Virgo, please? What else do we have for Virgo? Okay, we have action. Yeah, so there's going to be action taken. There's signs again. So long signs, you're getting an ascending. So there is a spiritual connection. Someone's ascending or you're both ascending. So we have the and we have forgiveness. So yes, there'll be forgiveness and you guys will get back together. Okay, let's see if they want to say anything to you. Let's see if they have they want to say anything to you. Okay, I thought they weren't gonna say anything. Okay, there are still so many unsaid things between us I keep comparing others to you okay yeah. and on the bottom we have I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises say anything on this deck Stop. And on the bottom said no other compares to you and saying the same thing that that one said okay virgo i hope you enjoyed your reading please like share and subscribe and hope to see you again real soon thank you